jazzing up. There we go. In the rhythm for our pause. Yay, let go. Relax. Woo! Roll the shoulders. Feels good. Stretch, looking to one side, and to the other. Looking up and rolling the head. In the rhythm, and then, ooh, stretching. Even moving my chair here. Don't need it. Doesn't it feel good? Can you feel yourself in your body? How does it feel? Ooh. A little more, a little more. That's nice. Warming up. Warming up to our paws. Why warming up? Think about your intention for this moment that we are spending together, for this minute that we are spending together. What's your intention for the now, for the present? My intention for for very for the moment is to be present. What is your intention for this moment? Yay! What is your intention? If you want to write it down, if you have a pencil, if you have a post-it, you can write down your intention or you can just put, put it in the chat just to share that you have some accountability on your intention for these moments that we are together. How was your day? How was your super beginning of the week, super Monday? How was it? Did you have a good one? Lots of little wins this day? I can say I had lots of little things happening, which is good, really good. Ready to hmm, take a deep breath with me. And just like we did in the morning, I'm gonna do it again. Our nostril breathing with the hang loose. If you're not familiar with that, get your hang loose up. We're gonna close one to breathe in and then we switch to breathe out while you're closing the other and then we breathe in through that one that is open and we switch and we breathe out and then we breathe in so it's like hold let go hold and let go and why are we doing this because we are bringing our attention to our breathing, something that we do regularly all the time. But how often do we, do we pay attention to how we are breathing? So we breathe all the time. Let's be intentional. Let's bring the focus from the unconscious to the consciousness, to being conscious, to having it here and knowing that we are breathing. And this kind of breathing, like the nostril breathing, it will it help us regulate our parasympathetic uh, nervous system. Oh, Polly, you are using difficult language. Okay, it helps us calm down and soothe. It helps us ground in the moment. If we're going through stress, if we want to relax, that's a good one to practice. Ready for it? Hey ho, let's go. Inhale, exhale, one more time. Inhale, exhale, and let's get started. Hold, switch, breathe out, 
breathe in, hold, switch, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, hold, breathe out, hold, breathe out, inhale, hold, breathe out, now that you got the gist of it, you can do it on your own. One more time. There you go. One more time. Good. Now heading back to breathing ah, our way. Sometimes it feels like sneezing, it's itchy. Breathing our regular way. How does it feel? Do a me search. Scan your body. How are you feeling now? <laughs> Is it itchy? Feeling good? That's nice. That's nice. We're going to transition now to a question that I had posted on Facebook and on Instagram these days. And there were some comments on it, some comments like some people wrote to me, not more than one, yes, more than one. And it was interesting how this question sometimes is like, whoa, what is going on here? So let me share with you. This was not actually a question, it's more of a statement. So in order to fly, you have to let go, you have to let go of the world you were hanging on to. In order to fly, you have to let go of the world you are hanging on to. Wow. Yes, birds for them to fly, they needed to leave the nest, right? When we are doing things, we have to leave things behind. If we are moving to other places, if we are starting a new position at work, if we having, we, need to have a difficult conversation and fear is right there and there and we cannot exactly know how we don't know how to deal with that so what can we do what do you do when you when when it comes to you when you face this that for you to fly you have to let go of something or sometimes some people say like something must die so another will birth will be new right there or another saying or quote that we can think of it we always have to look around our closet and see what clothes we are not using and we have to let go of those clothes so we can have space for the new so when you look at yourself when you look at your life what are you what moment are you in life this very moment, what do you need to let go of? Think about it. Think about this. Oops. What is needed to let, what do you need to let go? Something that is bothering you is in your mind. We all have those voices inside our mind. Think about it and take note of it. Write it down. And when you write that down, focus on yourself again. Focus on your breath. Bring attention to your breath once again. So you can even bring your hand to your heart if you have the chance. Imagine that your Breathing is, your breath is flowing in and out from the air. 
Imagine your breath is flowing in and out of your heart or chest area. Breathing a little slower and deeper than usual. And find an easy rhythm that is comfortable. Now look again at something that you must let go. Imagine that you're saying, Thank you for the time we were together, but these clothes don't fit me anymore. I'm ready for the new. I'm ready for what's to come. It served its purpose for the moment. And you are ready. Imagine that there is a light within you that is shining and we're ever that that you needed to let go was bothering you this light that shines from you within you is able to embrace it with warmth with care with kindness because whatever you have to let go is also part of your story is this what built you up to where you are you were just ready for the new you are facing it, seeing what is coming, and you are embracing the new also. So the same light that is embracing what is being left behind is embracing the new that is to come. Take another deep breath and feel this light, this warmth involving you, within you. It's a light that goes even beyond you, connecting to other lights, so it shows you are not alone in the path, because it's connected to so many other lights that are leaving things behind to embrace the new. And it's okay to embrace the new and to leave something behind. Or should I say, it's okay to leave something behind to start the new, to have different learnings. Then you are saying, oh, but it's so tough. There will be obstacles. It's too complicated. Yes. But we can change this point of view and practice on changing the point of view that this is for me. It's for my growth. There are learnings in there. There are new opportunities with these obstacles. Just rise and shine. Bring it from your heart into the world. You're a powerful being. We are powerful beings. And we are made to create, to create things new. Look back and be grateful for what you have to let behind. Look ahead in this present moment and be grateful for what is to become. Keep this moment, this feeling with yourself. It is nice. That's life. That's how life happens. There we go. Awesome. That is good. Thank you for being here with me during this moment of pause, for us to breathe together, for us to visualize things together, to have this mindfulness and calm down and cool down moment, connecting to ourselves in the present moment. This is wonderful. I appreciate you all so much. And yes, we are getting to the end of our lives because today is the last Monday of July. Oh, wow, the month went by quickly. So, hmm, I'm letting go of the lives for now, but there's something ahead, something new ahead. And if you are curious to know what is coming ahead, drop me a message, send me a direct message on Instagram, a direct message on Facebook, email me, let's connect. So you will learn what is to come because there are things coming in the horizon 
the new is right there for us, for us to keep, to keep on growing, for us to keep up like our pace on the journey with pause, heart centered and connecting mind and heart, heart and mind. Thank you so much for everyone who's been here. I appreciate you all. Be in peace in your journey. It is a wonderful journey despite the obstacles we all have. Not because I'm here, I don't have, yes, I have to. But it all changes when I choose how to see them and from what perspective I choose to see them. I'll see you guys.